Hey, today we're looking at how to change a TriStar, Hayward TriStar pump motor, and I'll walk you through those steps. Uh, this is Rich with True Light Pools, specializing in keeping the pools clean and repairing the equipment. So now you start with taking the four, uh, I'm sorry, six uh, uh, plate bolts, basically the mounting plate bolts. They're right here, these down here. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, three on each side, and then basically the you'll pull that section. This is the back section of the motor. I'm sorry, the back section of the pump, which has the motor and the diffuser and the impeller and all that stuff. This will come straight out, and then you'll need to take the diffuser off and take these two uh, right here off. Okay, now we're continuing. I just loosened the screws on the diffuser, holding the diffuser in place. That comes off. Um, and then, of course, I already disconnected the uh, wiring. Make sure your electricity's off. Uh, and then you disconnect the wiring so that you can uh, have the motor, uh, you know, the back of the, the pump moving freely. So anyway, I disconnected the screws holding the diffuser on. Uh, there is an impeller screw on the TriStar. Uh, you remove that by, this is uh, reverse threads or left-handed threads. So you turn it in a tightening direction to actually unloosen, uh, to, to get the, uh, the impeller screw out. And then hold the shaft at the back uh, on the factory, uh, Hayward factory motors. It's a 7 16 to hold the back of that shaft so that you can turn this in a normal loosening direction. Uh, on the uh, on uh, like uh, A.L. Smith motors or, or Century motors, something like that. Then it's usually a half inch to hold the shaft. And then I've already uh, I already popped this one loose and then just turned it in loosening direction. And then now there's going to be your seal. Uh, so if you do just have a seal problem, you know it's leaking or something, then you can take those pieces off. You can try to get to that there, replace both sections of the seal, but in this installation, you know, if you can't get to both sections, then you'll have to go ahead and, and remove the four motor mounting bolts that go into this seal plate. Uh, two on this side, two on that side, remove those four bolts, and then you'll be able to pull this motor out. I'll do that and show you in just a second. Okay, I'll just remove the four motor mounting bolts, and then basically the seal plate, this section comes forward off of the shaft, You'll note the two pieces of the seal. Uh, this is the, the black ceramic part, meets mm. up with the white ceramic part. Uh, and so when it comes off, then you'll be able to get that back section out. You just punch it out with a, with a screwdriver. And then that's the, that's the section that will uh, that will fit back in there. Whenever you're fitting the new one in there, don't touch any of the uh, ceramic pieces with your fingers on the new one. I usually apply it with a, push it in with a paper towel, and then you can, and then this other section will go over the shaft, and then you're ready to put the impeller and stuff back on. But for now, we've got everything apart, and then now it's, we're ready to put the new motor, uh, the re just basically the reverse process. Put the new motor in there uh, with this new seal, and then you're ready to put the impeller back on, and then the uh, diffuser, uh, the ring, uh, the impeller, impeller ring, the impeller screw, and then the diffuser. That's the reverse order of what you need to do. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll show you what it looks like after I get the new motor on. Okay, I've got the new pump uh, ready, I'm sorry, the new motor ready to put on on TriStar pump. And once I've, I've already got it uh, wired up at the back, and then I put the bonding wire at the bottom. Uh, after you put it on, well then you just have to put the uh, the back cover on, but then you're ready to you know, put all this other stuff back on. And then uh, last thing before you put it back together uh, is that this uh, housing gasket uh, and then also the diffuser o-ring, uh, then you want to lube those up really good with like pool and spa lube from Leslie's or Magic Lube. Uh, and make sure those are really they're clean and, and lubed up well and then you're ready to put it back together and then the last four things are you're going to tighten it up snug with the uh, housing bolts and then you're ready to uh, put some water in the pump and prime it up 